Hi there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whisker review video. If you have not yet done so, please make sure you go ahead and hit the bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content. And for this series, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. So let's get into it. Um, welcome to day two of my Advent Whiskey Box um, series. So yesterday was day one, so if you have not yet already seen it, um, you can go ahead and check out that video after this. Um, but for now, welcome to day two. Uh, let's open this box, see what we're going to get, and um, yeah, what are we looking at today? Oh, wow, this, <laughs> this is something that I didn't really expect to have come up so quickly into the series, but this is something that I'm so excited to try. All right, today I'm going to be reviewing the Lafroig 25 year old. Wow, what a special whiskey. All right, so this has been bottled at 48.9% ABV. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, time to, to crack this and let's get started. All right, yeah, Lafroig is just one of those whiskeys that just really showed me like what whiskey could be very early on in my whiskey uh, my whiskey journey i love lafroig from the get-go um, so yeah this is a very exciting one for me all right let's see what we get on the nose all right so you you know that's lafroig that that is a lafroig nose it's definitely not as intense as the 10 year old the 10 year old is much more intense on the nose those peaty and smoky elements are definitely much more prominent this is more subdued it's more gentle a little bit more elegant refined if you want but it still has that that salty seaweedy coastal vibe that you love from your standard Lafroig whiskey so I'm getting lots of vanilla um, caramel I do believe that some Lafroig usually uses some um, bourbon casks if I'm mistaken please drop a comment down below um, after this video I'm going to be doing a little bit more research as well so if there's any other information I find I'll put it in the description box down below but yeah a little bit of pepper there's also this sweet honey note that's coming through it's also quite citric also there's a little bit of like a eucalyptus vibe coming in as well it's not something that I would have expected also a bit of vanilla cream there's a certain fruitiness as well but i'm not too sure what that what that note is but um, you know, maybe we'll find it on the palate so cheers let's see what we get first things first the mouthfeel stunning it kind of starts off a little bit thin but then it builds up to this really nice syrupy texture but again 48.9 percent pretty much 49 um, you kind of expect that from those higher abvs sorry those higher abvs the palette is definitely Lafroig. Um, everything that you love about Lafroig is in this glass right now. The main difference is, again, like I said on the nose, in comparison to the 10 year old, it is just softer. It's not as intense. It has kind of, you will notice the peat there, but it doesn't punch you in the face like the standard 10 year old does. It is definitely a lot friendlier and more approachable and i think that's something that a lot of people that will be getting into peated whiskies um this is probably a place or the the i should say this is kind of like the the style of peat that you would want to start off your peated journey on i mean obviously the, the standard the 25 year old is generally quite expensive so it's not something that you'll be able to always get your hands on but if you're able to try a sample of it i do highly recommend it Again, coastal saltiness. It has that Lafroig funk, more like gentle oak, little bit of pepper, slightly lemony as well. It's got this nice herbal grassiness that I'm really enjoying as well. Um, yeah, this is just absolutely fantastic. The finish pretty much follows the same lines as the palette. Um, the only thing now that I would say is that I'm starting, I'm starting to get a bit more of a like a, a chocolatey dark chocolate vibe coming in so it does obviously evolve and change i think this is something that with the rest of the sample i'll pour that out later and just let the glass sit for a little bit and just let it open up and just see how it um, progresses with a little bit more air and time but my initial response for this is that it's just absolutely fantastic i was so lucky to be able to get a sample of this 
So, um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. All right, I'll leave it at that. Um, please get ready for day three. Uh, my name is Andrew, and I shall see you all tomorrow on the next video. Get this. Well, if you have made it this far into the video, why not go ahead and consider watching one of these other reviews that I've done in the past. I will see you all again next time. Get this.